All right. So we're back with our model, Matthew. All right. Uh, second thing, if someone comes in complaining of shoulder pain, you've checked the scapular humeral rhythm, it's fine. Okay. What else can you do? Okay. You can check for winging. Right. So winging is simply, if you look at someone's scapula in the worst case scenario, and the borders actually sit off the ribs, that's winging. Scapula should be stable. This is a very, very mobile joint, but it needs a stable base, which is the scapula. Lots of muscles attached on the scapula to the humerus. If this is unstable, all of a sudden the muscles that were stabilizing this very mobile joint, they can't stabilize very well. Because every time, if we get Matthew to lift your arms first, and come down, a little bit faster, up, and down. Every time the scapula does that, the length tension relationships change. Yeah? Muscles that were relying on the scapula to stay flat, that are stabilizing the humerus, as soon as it does that, all of a sudden they can't stabilize anymore, they've lost their support. It's not always a problem, but if someone has shoulder pain, check this out, okay? Because it can be something that can cause pain. So, what do we do? Pretty simple, actually. Okay, Matthew. What I'd like you to do, you're going to stand comfortably against the wall. Alrighty. You're going to push your hands up, and then you're going to pull your arms down, and I shouldn't be able to pull your arm off good. So, you're pushing into the wall slightly. Okay, so pull down. Not too hard. There we go. Cool. Okay, well then. Right, up you go. No more winging. And come down. Fantastic. Alrighty, well then. Okay. This is an awareness exercise. Okay, you make people aware. It's good to show them footage of what they were doing. Okay. It also activates muscles that should be stabilizing the scapula the anterior serratus, the lower traps, there are lots of them, you can't really isolate muscles, okay? But it's just correcting a pattern. And again, what do you make people do after they can control their scaps? Pull-ups, yeah? Push-ups, things like crawling, okay? Matthew, I'm going to show you this and then I want you to do it, okay? Crawling, main focus on my shoulder blades please. Little movements, small movements. Keep your knees close to the ground. So keep those scaps down. Very good. And backwards. Okie dokie. Up you come. In that case, in that case, that was a progression maybe a little bit too far. Matthew still wins when he does the crawling. Fine. You don't progress people too quickly. But just for your information, once someone can control their scaps, they can do a reach, roll and lift. They can do a pull-up. You progress them onto crawling, push-ups, until eventually they can go back and throw a javelin or do back bends. And that pain very often disappears. Thank you.